If you're wanting employees to designate time worked by job, project, location, client, or position at the time of clock-in, we offer two options, projects and work sites. If needed, these features can be renamed to the terminology you use. Work sites is a simplistic feature to set up and allows employees to designate the time worked upon clock-in. This is best used for a quick reference of location when viewing reports or as a filter option. If you're needing more functionality, you may want projects instead. Reports can be filtered by project and can also calculate totals based on project. A pay rate can be assigned to each project and gross pay totals can be tracked in reports. You can also set a project to overtime or double time rate, exempt from overtime calculations, or non-paid time off. Every account starts out with a default work project. To your employees, this appears as a button that says clock in. One of the most important things to know about projects is that when you create a new project and assign it to employees, it replaces the default work. That will be explained in more detail as we move along. Because projects is one of the most complicated subjects in the system and versatile enough to be used in several different ways, we are going to go over three examples of common setups for projects. These examples will include tracking multiple projects instead of time being recorded as work, keeping the default work and utilizing projects to track unpaid sick days, and keeping a standard work option while allowing clock-ins for a side project. First is tracking multiple projects. Here, we've created several projects for employees to clock in and out of. After saving changes, we can click Next at the bottom. This will take us to the Assign Projects or Breaks page. By default, you will see the drop-down on this page is set to Everyone. This tells the system that every employee should have every project you've just created. If this is the case, you're done. But if you need to assign certain projects to individual employees, use the drop-down to select individuals. Now you can check the boxes to designate what project buttons show up for each employee. Note, if no boxes are checked, the employee will be reverted to default work. If your employees use a fingerprint or badge reader for clocking, they can utilize buttons on the keypad to designate their project when clocking in. Check out the reader video for a tutorial on setting up F keys. Our second example is a company that wants to track unpaid time. Projects can be assigned different pay types, so we'll set this project to non-pay time off. Now, on the Assign page, we will want to set the dropdown to Individuals. Otherwise, the unpaid project will override their clock-in button, and they'll only be able to clock in to the unpaid project. To let the employees remain clocking into the default work project, keep all of the assigned boxes unchecked. This will only give them the option of default work, but will give you the ability to use the non-paid project when you enter time in the edit page. The third example is default work replacement to track work in addition to a side project. Let's say this company wants to track time worked on Saturday separately because Saturday is paid at an overtime rate. We have created a Saturday project and assigned the pay type to overtime rate but now we'll want to create a standard work project for every other day of the week. On the Assign page, we can keep the drop-down set to Everyone if everyone has the option for both projects. Otherwise, we can assign to specific employees. Now employees will see a Work button and a Saturday button on their time cards. Make sure the employees who do not have access to the Saturday project are still assigned to Work. If not, some employees will be clocking into the work project and others will be clocking into the default work, which will be categorized separately in reports. You'll notice there's a middle column for default project. This has three functions. If you have a fingerprint or badge reader with project keys, the employee can clock into their default project by not choosing any keys at all. 
If your employees use the Quick Punch login page, meaning they clock straight in from the login page without logging into their time card, it will clock them into their default project. The last functionality of the default project is on the time card edit page. When you add time for an employee, their default project will be the first option you see. This is the extent of the functionality of default projects. To allow employees to clock in with the project buttons, you will still need to check the appropriate boxes in the right-hand column.